Welcome back to Mass Effect. This is Road to Mass Effect 4 on Insanity Mode. This is my regular playthrough as my femme ship. So last episode, I uh, showed everyone that I had my butt's better than everybody's. And I freaking I smacked or I knocked out the, the what's what's her face, Dr. Marone, I think that's how you pronounce it, yeah. Dr. Warren, that I smacked or knocked out her assistant. It was freaking awesome. And it was badass too. Textures are so slow. There we go. <laughs> Saren. Nihilus. He looks so badass. <laughs> Seriously. Goddamn. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. And there goes Nihilus. Go! It's you. Off in the distance. It's the evil octopus. It's a shit. No, it's an octopus. It. It's a goddamn octopus. Oh, I can't zoom in. I forgot. Oh, I can't zoom into that one either. God damn it. It's a goddamn octopus. Get back here, you octopus. Goddamn, you stupid octopus. Someday I will get you, you stupid octopus. Get closer, get closer. Nailed it. Oh, wrong gun, wrong gun, wrong gun. Wow, you got bitch slapped by that friggin' husk, you retard. So you didn't do anything? So you just got off. Nailed it. Get your butt up, Kaden. Not in the middle of a fight! We're done with the goddamn fight. God damn it, Kaden, you suck. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to upgrade my squad members. Alright. So now I can upgrade my... I can get my barrier. I could get that. Probably should. Get that. And next one... Oh, wait, next upgrade, I can get my barrier. Forgot about the, I forgot about these guys. I really keep forgetting about these guys. Here we go. Yes. Electrons. Very nice. Electronics. Get shotguns in. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Hold up. Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. Probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I can't, can't see. God damn it, dude. God damn it, dude. Thank you. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. 
If there's something you're not telling me... I'll Some guys you. in the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. <laughs> you weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here. Something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. You're holding out on me. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. <laughs> Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no, wait, I just remembered. <laughs> I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? Batman. He's not a bad <laughs> guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Is he worth dying for? Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. <laughs> no honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Oh, Reganator, I love it so much, dude. It's just so freaking awesome. Oh my god. It's, it's, it's so worth it. Uh, clearly, it's freaking worth it. Jesus. Oh my god. Ooh. Heavy armor and light armor. We can't wear heavy armor, so we'll, we'll probably give that to Ashley, probably. Can I jump parkour? Parkour. Nearly like a boss. <laughs> Reganator. It's freaking awesome to play Reggae, to be honest. <laughs> Being a bitch. I love it. Commander, it's nice. I know, let me get this medkit first. Okay, now we can check on him. He has purple blood or something. A Turian? You know him? New. Use the term new. He's a Spectre. He was with us in the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Coward. <laughs> Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. God damn it. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand Pathetic. over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Liar. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. There was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute, that ship was descending. The next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, 
I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You make me sick. You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do, run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. I explosive. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, see if we can up our grenades. Ooh. Garbage. <laughs> Don't need that at all. Grenade. Alright, let's go. YOLO. Ooh, you can't beat me, bro. Kind of. I want to get caught. Never get caught. Shit, I messed up. Oh poop, oh poop, oh poop, oh poop. I forgot to care of that guy. I forgot all about him. Why me? Why the pretty girl? Why the girl with the fat ass? Literally. Kill him, come on. Ooh, nailed it. Very nice. I'm a little busy here. Oh, shut up. YOLO! So good, I'm just so good, I'm so good, I'm so good. Don't get cocky, Brian, never get cocky. Accept the charges, destroy the entire colony, leave no evidence that we were here. Alright guys, gotta pause the video here. This is the third episode of the Mass Effect Reagan A playthrough. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. My name is Brian, also known as Bray880. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Mass Effect. So, goodbye.